Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video I will be showing you a new OSINT tool which is named as Cache Trick Clues. So this particular tool is used to identify some kind of passive information or open source intellig intelligence uh, through the help of an email, username or phone number. So first of all, uh, this is a disclaimer. So this is a sponsored video. So and I'm making this video in such a uh, because I did find the functionality of this tool bit useful uh, for the guys who do OSINT and stuff and also the account that I'm showcasing for this uh, thing is a paid account which has some kind of credits so which the team provided and if you want to test all the features then uh, you should definitely be having a paid account so I'll leave the link for that in the description below so if you do like it just check that out and uh, this is like a good OSINT tool the first thing that i truly liked here in this is the username so i'll just uh, delete that number so that's the number for uh, uh, what you say microsoft technical support so i'm not revealing any of my number and uh, the reason why i'm showing you the username in the first place because there is a functionality called as enable symmetry so which shows the deleted tweets as well this is kind of cool <laughs> like uh, for example, if you are in uh, like this reveals lot of information because we people tend to delete lot of stuff. So I once used to have a uh, my phone number available on my Twitter account. So I deleted it later like it in the form of a tweet. So this can be really cool. And you can see uh, it shows some of the archived deleted tweets. So there are a lot of them. You can go and check them out. And even it tries to find out the partial information. So like, for example, every time uh, like uh, like this, uh, I'll tell you how this is being identified. So if you hit like forgot password, like it will show you some information, right? Like the end, last four digits or last two digits. So that's how it's pulling out like the partial email email is pretty much useless because it just shows the gmail.com and the phone number may be kind of interesting because if you find some other sources from other sources then you can try to match it and you can find more uh, information so this is one of the coolest things so i truly love this feature of this uh, asymmetry thing and you can also see all the search modules it's going through so uh, skype primoji partial symmetry github tiktok x instagram and chest so uh, and if for example if your x account is uh, like uh, private at that point of time then it might not fetch some account so this this is basically fetching the tweets from the archive.org which is like internet fingerprinting or internet snapshot to be simple so this is cool this is pretty much cool so uh, you can in, you can identify a lot of information from this and coming to the phone number uh, so i did find it useful because i tried it with my personal number and uh, so it tries to show you some link accounts link to it so uh, with uh, i generally have my uh, some gmail accounts linked with my personal number and it tries to fetch some information uh, not too much like not the gmail but uh, the microsoft account and some other facebook related information so that was pretty cool then i made that private so now you might not see that uh, and call app is nothing but some kind of uh, like a true call alternative so true call is pretty much a rate limiting so they might have went with the other alternative and it even shows you and uh, it even uh, for, for my personal number someone saved my name with some different thing so so that's how you can identify more and more information so this is a microsoft account so you can find much pretty much information so go and test this out and you can see there are few tires here so uh, as i told you this is a sponsored video and the team provided me with the credits so you can see i'm on the recon tire so it it, it has a lot of functionality here like discord uh, facebook and microsoft and stuff so make sure your details are private because anyone can like anyone with your personal information can identify more and more information using these kinds of applications or tools. So and coming to the email, so email is kind of good. So so it did find some information. Uh, sorry, one second. Yeah. So it did find some information. So some cool information it tried to fetch is the information uh, like the reviews that are posted from your Gmail account and stuff like that. So that is a major hit because sometimes people post reviews of their uh, nearest places and uh, like for example if you daily if you go to a gym daily then you might have posted uh, a review of the gym and uh, you know like it it tries to tell like generally people go to gym which are near their house so 
so that's a good point to identify and that's very cool you can see reviews and stuff i this is an account that's there just uh, i just created this for people to contact but i'm not using this as well so i leave the link for my email or i'll just leave my email uh, which is based on proton mail so you can go and check that out so this is cool so let's see what i reviewed i never saw this thing so there is nothing like contributions and stuff so that's fine and trello trello is something is like a project management kind of thing it gives you some kind of a board so this does identify some good information uh, like do check this out like you have a lot of options like google skype flickr notion github and stuff like that and that is it for this video thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you